Well, welcome back, everybody. My name is Off Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be talking about a trick that if you are now in the Winter's Feast, you might not know of. So while I start to begin building this miraculous little setup, I will showcase and talk about what I'm referring to. In the Winter's Feast, you get random stuff given to you, including some random drops that you cannot eat. Specifically this one, I'd rather chew on blubber balls, whatever the hell those are. Uh, Eternal Fruitcake gets dropped. Now, these are random things that just show up inside of Don't Starve Togethers, um, like I said, Winter's Feast. So when it comes down to it, you have to decide what you're going to do with these items. This is one of those that you have no idea what to do with. Well, I'm about to show you. So if you've ever had a chance to make yourself some traps, specifically, in this case, we're going to do a pig trap or a pig farm for that matter. Let's go ahead and show how we would normally set this up. So as always, when you do a pig farm or when you do a pig trap or whatever you decide to do, you're most likely going to take and smash up all the pig houses. And if you don't know how to do this, you can watch my in-depth pig house guide on how to do it. And same with a gobbler trap too. Gobbler traps are obviously a lot easier. Well, not easier, but easier to come by because you basically gather all the bushes, put the bushes around something like this, and then follow suit. You basically take and put a door here once you are fine. Finally, well, oh, sorry, I guess I should say a gate because, of course, they don't call them a door in this game. And you probably want to make it a little bit further out like this. And, of course, everybody has their own ways of doing it. And once again, feel free to follow suit with following my videos in depth on how to do this. I'm just giving you the, the quick rundown so that way you get an idea. Anyways, when you finally do that, you can plop the eternal fruitcake in there because it's eternal and it will last forever. And guess what? Our little, our little friends love the taste of eternal fruitcake just like they do powder cake. Powder cake is another recipe that lasts forever. So, of course, if you, you are going through the process of having powder cake it's ex it, it's the exact same as the eternal fruit cake so that being said when these l when these little tiny piglets wake up they're obviously going to go towards i can press c i think to just redo it yes i can going towards the eternal fruit cake thus making yourself a pig farm the idea about a pig farm or a farm in general is that any type of things that are trying to eat a powder cake will try to go to the eternal at uh, the eternal fruit cake thus making it so they're always around this area and of course when they turn into a wear pig um you got to remember that you know that's the time to actually go in there and take care of them so in the morning when they all wake up they're all going to run over over there and they're going to stay nice and distracted forever and ever and ever and like i said this does apply to gobblers too so if we went through and put a bunch of bushes around here and made sure that we fertilized all those bushes we would end up in the same situation where the gobblers would then try to go for the eternal uh, powder cake which is for free given to us now if you don't realize what this is so important is because the eternal fruit cake literally just sits there forever and ever and ever and it'll never spoil never literally never now the other thing about this is there's so many many of them that given to you so that means that inside of winter's feast if you just collect them forever and ever they will last outside of the winter's feast that's right once they're on the ground they're never going to go away once they're in a chest they'll never go away so keep them for as long as you can and when you look up an actual powder cake which i don't think i can yeah it's, I, have to, I have to basically give it to myself give powder cake um i don't know if i think it might just be called uh, let me just look it up powder cake this is why the wiki is such a good little friend. Powder cake. And let's see what the name of it is. It's called Pow Cake. Uh, okay. I wish they could have just called it Powder Cake. But anyways, when you look at this, the recipes are obviously as followed in order to make the actual powder cake. In case you're curious, you just need to use honey and you can use twigs and you can use corn. It's pretty straightforward, actually, and it's a pretty small little recipe. Nothing too drastic. Um, you know, some people use uh, one berry, one twig, but you can do two twigs, one honey and one corn. And it'll give you a guaranteed powder cake and it'll last forever. Basically, you know, 10,000 years. But why do that and even have a chance of getting the recipe? because you obviously have to grow corn in order to get it. Instead, you can, of course, just use your eternal fruitcake, which will last forever. And look, our hungry little piglets are obviously super pumped to go there and get it. And yes, you can go ahead and eat the powder cake now because who the heck cares when we have so many eternal fruitcakes. And the bonus about that is players will not eat it. Now, of course, if there is any damage to the walls or the walls get damaged or whatever happens, happens. The pigs get in, they eat it. That's why you want to keep those eternal fruit cakes on hand as they're basically powder cakes for free inside of winter. So there you go. What a cool little thing when it comes to the winter's feast that a lot of people forget about. But in the end, it's one of the best items to see in winter's feast. Well, not the best, but one of the better ones in winter's feast, which 
a lot of people look over. So enjoy your winter's feast trick and keep them for as long as you can because they are amazing and they will help you in your endeavors when it comes to your little tiny farms. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.